What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Mix Things Up, which is get at least one kill with every available weapon and grenade on the banished ship. So this is the first level in the game. We are going to start up the mission Warship Jabraken. You want to make sure that you don't have bandana on. It seems like that would be a good skull to throw on to make this easier, but it actually messes with the achievement in some ways. So turn all the skulls off. And this can be done on any difficulty, so I'm doing it on easy here. We are going to need 14 different weapons and grenades in this. That would be the sidekick, which is the pistol you start with, the assault rifle, the bulldog, the battle rifle, the plasma pistol, needler, mangler, pulse carbine, frag grenades, plasma grenades, and spike grenades, the plasma cannon, which is a turret about halfway through the mission, the ravager, and then finally the hydra. As you spawn into the beginning of the mission here, you have an assault rifle and a pistol, so we're just going to move forward and get two quick kills with these two weapons, and then we could change them out for a couple more. There's actually seven weapons in the beginning here that you could get real quick. So you get half of the weapons you need right in this first room. So we're going to grapple up. There's some grunts over here. We're going to kill them with an assault rifle. And we got a pistol kill there. And uh, I shot back at that third one. We don't need him, though. After that, we're going to go back towards where we spawned. There are a couple claws hanging from the ceiling. And they both have some wreckage of some kind within their grasp. And we're actually going to go to this one right here that I'm looking at. We're going to jump up and grapple up to this claw and we want to land on the piece of wreckage that it's holding and there's going to be a bulldog sitting right up on top of that wreckage so i zipped through accidentally on that first try but here we are grab the bulldog and we're going to go down over here towards this big glowing red door where we spawned in from you can see that crane or that claw i was looking at actually drops off this box that has this battle rifle in it so grab that as well we're going to go over to this side of the room now on the left side and we'll get a couple quick kills with these two weapons here now like on the other side that we went to first, there's a handful of grunts on this side. So easy enough, easy enemies to kill. And once you get kills with those two weapons, you want to drop down to the side and run around back where you'll find a weapon rack containing a needler and a plasma pistol. So change out your weapons for those two weapons. We'll cut back and continue on through the mission here. And there's going to be a room full of grunts as we enter this doorway. Oh, there's one right over here. So we'll take him out with the plasma pistol. Switch to the needler and take out this grunt. And as we drop down, there's going to be some weapon racks in this area. Grab a mangler off these weapon racks. And we'll get a kill with this. And that is enough to get the doors to open up so we can progress to the next part of the mission. So we'll go through a few rooms, and then there will be a pulse carbine that's coming up next. So I'll skip ahead to that point. You'll come to this room that has three brutes on the far side when you enter. You just want to run past these guys. It's on easy difficulty, so they don't really give you too much trouble. And then on the right side, when you go through this door, there's a pulse carbine, and there's another one over there on the other side of those boxes. But we're going to grab the one to our right, because this is in the direction we want to go anyway. So we'll grab this, grapple across. There's some jackals on the far side here. We're going to take one out, at least, with the pulse carbine. And that is enough to get us the uh, requirement for this gun. And then we will skip ahead. We're going to go up this elevator that I'm looking at right now. There's some brutes that are going to come down, and we're going to kill them, get in the elevator, and go up the elevator. I'm going to skip ahead to that part. Now that we're at the top of the elevator, the doors will open up, and there's going to be some frag grenades on the ground scattered around, so just grab two. You can only carry two, unfortunately, so we'll grab two. There's plenty more if you need to go back and grab more in case you miss with your first couple grenade throws, but you can just chuck a couple down the hallway as these enemies come at you and get some kills. Uh, but again, there's more behind you if you need them. Uh, there's another bulldog over here in case you need uh, to get that gun out of the way if you didn't do it in the beginning. And there's some more uh, grenades in a crate right here. In case you need them, there's more on the table to the right when we enter this room. But since I already got my frag grenade kills, I'm going to focus on getting spike grenades. There's a couple spike grenades on the weapon rack on the far side of this room when you enter. So I'm just clearing out some enemies as I make my way over there. You want to save at least one enemy, though, to kill with the spike grenade, obviously. If you do end up clearing all of them out, it's okay. We could just, you know, use the spike grenade further on. There's plenty more enemies left still. So I'm going to switch to my spike grenade and then just stick this guy. More frag grenades to the left of this doorway in that box. More spike grenades on that box to the right in this hallway. We're going to run past these jackals. More spike grenades, I believe, on the left side on that weapon crate we just ran past. Just refilling my ammo here. And in this room, there's plasma grenades on the far weapon rack. So I'm just running past all these enemies, going and grabbing a plasma grenade. There's four plasma grenades on this weapon rack. So we're going to stick this guy right here. Just taking my time uh, switching plasma grenades. Then I'll stick another one for good measure. Why not? And then uh, I will move on to the next part, which is getting a kill with the turret. So you can see that turret is actually firing at me from the right. We're going to wrap up around behind it, take control of it. More plasma grenades right there, as you can see. 
there's grenades all over the map from here on out. So uh, if you do end up, you know, not getting the kills where I got the kills, you could always get them further in. But you can see here we wrapped around the backside of the turret. We got on it. We ripped it off its mounting. And now we're going to use it to get at least one kill. I'm going to mow through a few enemies here. After you get at least one kill, we're going to drop it. And we're just going to sprint to the next room. This next room has a bunch of brutes in here. This is the big room with a, uh, a Ravager wielding brute all the way at the far end here on the bridge. So we're just going to skip this cutscene and we're going to jump down to the left. You could go take out the brute that has a Ravager, steal that, and then use that against some of the brutes to get a Ravager kill. But there's also a Ravager on a weapon rack all the way on the far end on the bottom left over here. So I'm going to do that. We'll grapple up to the top here, and there's going to be the Ravager Brute up here. We're going to take him out with a Ravager, so Ravager on Ravager action here. And you can see even on easy, he takes a few shots with this thing. So we'll be able to uh, get our one kill with the Ravager. And I'm going to skip ahead almost all the way to the end. This is the final sequence where you're just escaping the ship as it's blowing up. You make your way across these prefabricated buildings as they're falling down to get to the other side. And if you scan your surroundings as you get to the end here, you can see that there's a Hydra hiding up against the wall here behind these crates. So we're going to grab this. We're going to get at least one kill. Make sure you actually get a kill with the Hydra and not from the fusion cores around here. And the same could be said with all the other weapons. But that is your 14th and final weapon that you need to get a kill with to get this achievement. You can see it popped right here. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.